chairing the okay. Center for, for Museum Studies in the Department of Education, University of Roma Tre for some years now. And we have been working on different uh, issues related to education uh, in, uh, in museum studies, but uh, uh, with, uh, um, always with, with uh, a focus on the use of technology, especially um, a critical use of technology. Uh, in order to support the development of cross-sectional skills. I, I won't spend time on, you know, the use, the importance of, of developing cross-sectional skills, because from what I could um, understand uh, from Diana's uh, presentation, she, she um, uh, already uh, talked about the importance, the use, uh, of uh, digital skills and cross-sectional skills, especially in uh, this time of pandemic, we have been uh, here, uh, unfortunately. Um, so the, the first, but just to, to tell you about the background of the research I'm going to, to introduce you. Um, the problem where we started is, of course, the issue related to a new way of uh, um, use in, in technology, in particular uh, in education. Uh, the problem we are facing is not just a health uh, problem, is a problem um, that uh, is really invading our lives in every, uh, from every point of view. Um, so um, now more than ever, we, we need to acquire new kind of skills, new kind of competencies. Um, digital skills are fundamental uh, in order to be part of the new kind of society we have been uh, put uh, um, uh, through uh, from one day to, to the other. Um, this kind of lack of meta uh, technology abilities could really uh, enlarge uh, and reinforce the digital divide. So uh, for us as educators, it's absolutely a duty uh, to, to work on this, to support um, uh, this kind of uh, um, education within the digital skills environment. So the need to work critically to understand how to um, get a, a direction within this world is, is fundamental. Uh, this kind of, uh, of focus of reflection is directly connected to the development of critical thinking skills as uh, we all might uh, uh, understand. Um, and different kind of agencies support and underline the need to develop critical thinking skills. Um, experts agreed with the idea that critical thinking can be considered both in terms of uh, skills and dispositions. So there are different kinds of uh, aspects that we need to take into consideration when we develop certain uh, educational um, proposals. Um, this is the context where we started our, our work, which is, of course, connected to uh, heritage experiences. Uh, I say heritage, cultural heritage experiences uh, meant in a very wide and open um, uh, interpretation, um, even if the example that I'm going to introduce you is based on a specific uh, collection. But of course, this kind of work can be adapted uh, to different, many different kinds of collections and is really mm, uh, in line. And I, I thank Diana for this opportunity uh, with what Ekaterina also uh, presented. So um, what did we do? We, we focused on this idea of developing critical thinking skills in um, in uh, uh, technologically advanced uh, environments uh, where uh, cultural heritage uh, objects could be um, appreciated, but appreciated in, a, let's say, non-conventional uh, way. Uh, we were not interested in supporting, uh, of course, that 
could come afterwards, but we were not so much interested uh, in transferring uh, certain contents or historical um, uh, meanings. Uh, we were more focused on the idea of supporting those skills and dispositions connected to critical thinking skills. So that's why we use the, some objects from an Etruscan archaeological uh, collection um, to uh, work um, through uh, different kinds of strategies. Uh, first of all, reflective questioning, visual thinking, digital storytelling. Um, the idea uh, is, of course, to, to, to bridge the gap between physical and virtual fruition, virtual uh, um, experience of uh, the cultural heritage uh, um, elements, uh, objects, um, through interaction um, and uh, involvement, uh, absolutely. Uh, mm, the other idea that guided us was related to um, um, a, a model that was developed in another uh, European project where we have been uh, participating in, that is the EMI uh, project, Eurovision Museums Exhibiting Europe, uh, where um, the, I, the basic idea was related to the fact that each museum object uh, tells a story. Um, if we investigate that story, we uh, understand, um, we can understand and we can create a different shared memory that can help developing, um, first of all, critical thinking, but also inclusion and um, uh, elimination of uh, uh, any cultural barrier because that object has uh, gone through a series of uh, events that can uh, make sense of that specific uh, reality, but also, but also um, uh, the, the, the life uh, of everyone that can be interested in, in that, in that uh, uh, story. And that can be related to their own, their own story. So um, how can we investigate that specific object? For, for example, uh, trying to understand where was the object created? Who did it belong to through its history? Was it family owned? Has it been presented in traveling exhibitions and exhibited in different contexts? All these questions can tell us um, the story of that object and so our own story. Um, so we, we thought that organizing learning activities which combine a strong cultural basis and storytelling can constitute an effective solution for the development of critical thinking skills. So from all this framework, we developed uh, an application, uh, the so-called eTruria um, Inclusive Memory app. It, um, inclusive Memory is the the name of the project and the national uh, uh, university project that we have been uh, working on through the last uh, two years and a half. Uh, it was a project meant to develop from different point of views because dif seven different departments in our university participated in the project and uh, Mm, uh, so different kind of subjects were involved from engineering, of course, to education, uh, to economics, to architecture, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, it, within this project that was meant to use the object as a tool for inclusion, we developed this application. Um, uh, and we are going to introduce you some, some data related to uh, the um, uh, results that we obtained so far in, uh, trying to understand the impact of, uh, of the experience. Uh, so as you said, as you, as you say, uh, as, sorry, as you see, uh, there are um, some connections, of course, 
um, to the collection that is, as I said, an archaeological Etruscan collection um, reproduced here uh, uh, with the name of, uh, of uh, the project. Uh, which was the, 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 the fundamental um, research hypothesis, as you can see here, to achieve a high degree of involvement and educational uh, effectiveness in terms of critical thinking development. In, of course, um, virtual environments that place the user in an active condition uh, with respect to the interaction with the cultural object. So, <clears throat> Um, we uh, based all the activities uh, developed within uh, the application um, um, on the um, creative narration of each museum object uh, that was taken into uh, consideration. So there's a, a sort of reinterpretation of the object that meets uh, um, each uh, user, each visitor mm, in this virtual uh, path and um, tells um, the, its own uh, story to the user. Uh, all the narratives of in every object involved are uh, originally uh, created uh, in, a, uh, as, as uh, Diana was, was mentioning, in um, a design um, a based research approach with the participation uh, of uh, different uh, different kind of uh, of uh, um, researchers I mean researchers with different backgrounds so which were the, re the research questions how do students evaluate the virtual museum experience compared to the physical one uh, are there any correlations among students' preferences and their personal features? Is it possible to retrieve visitors' clusters? Which level of critical thinking is shown by students? Uh, is digital storytelling effective in terms of critical thinking development within cultural heritage uh, context? So many different questions. Mm, of course, the data I'm going to show you are partial and we have been working on, on them and different kinds of analysis will be mm, carried out in the next few weeks. But anyway, uh, some uh, information are already there and can uh, support our, um, our first uh, uh, hypothesis. Um, as re regards the um, evaluation of critical thinking levels, we've been working on a tool for evaluation of critical thinking skills um, for many years now. And so we have a tool that has been tested and used in different researches. So um, I told you, uh, we as a group within the Inclusive Memory University project uh, worked uh, out six different uh, uh, learning paths within the archaeological uh, collection. Uh, that we took into consideration and that, and that is preserved within uh, the museum, uh, uh, the Trasca Museum of Villa Giulia in Rome. Uh, and uh, um, as I said, each object meets uh, the visitor, the user um, telling its own story. Um, uh, here in this slide, you see why we called Etruria uh, the application, as I said, it refers to the virtual journey through an assonance between the terms Etruria uh, related to the collection and the electronic uh, tour um, uh, in a standalone virtual reality application, uh, both for Mac OS and Windows OS uh, environments. Uh, technical issues, uh, the application has two fundamental characteristics. On the one hand, the virtualization of the museum space and its artworks, and on the other, the interaction with uh, and movement uh, within it. Um, as I said, there are, mm, there's a selection of objects uh, which um, makes uh, um, a different kind of uh, uh, paths and light motives uh, to each uh, uh, path. Uh, 
the one that I'm going to introduce you today is related to um, a, a path that Mm, tells the way uh, women at the Tuscan times uh, were uh, living, mm, how they were considered, how they were um, part uh, of uh, uh, the uh, society. Uh, this was, of course, meant to um, meet the, the, the needs and the preferences of uh, um, a certain kind of, uh, of public uh, that could be more interested in uh, that kind of uh, um, contents and also could uh, relate that kind of uh, um, uh, topics to their own, their own lives in this idea, in this vision of inclusion, in this case of um, the female uh, dimension. Um, so, as you can see here through Alpian Crateri, jewels and the well-known sarcophagus of the spouses, uh, ad hoc storytellings have been created uh, in their history and contents in terms of decorations and stories. Uh, um, of course, to stimulate, to, to support critical thinking uh, abilities. Um, in addition to a main narrative series in, of in-depth analysis have, have also been uh, provided. Uh, you will see um, uh, these are some images uh, um, taken from our application. The first um, idea is that of uh, um, customize uh, the uh, uh, learning path that can be uh, uh, appreciated entering this virtual environment. So uh, some questions related to the, um, to the background of uh, the user are asked at the very uh, beginning. Uh, and then it's possible, uh, you know, tossing a coin to um, start uh, the visit in this virtual uh, museum that we created. This first object is Olpe in Bucaro Etrusco. Um, and as you can see here, uh, getting closer uh, to the object, it's possible to know more about the object itself. So if the person is interested in, uh, in, um, in the object itself, in its history, in its uh, um, historical and archaeological uh, um, contents, the user, of course, can, can go to this in-depth um, uh, Antonella, excuse yeah. me, uh, please, two minutes. Oh Thank my you. goodness, so I'll, I'll go very quickly. Anyway, they can uh, learn more about the object or uh, listen to the story that the object uh, tells about itself. Uh, let me, I lost my mouse. Uh, this is the story, of course, it's in Italian, but if you are interested, I can also provide a translation. Um, then there's a, a way to evaluate uh, the experience also through um, the um, images that you can see uh, here. Uh, these are the objects that were selected and uh, all the stories related. But to be very brief, otherwise I can't go to the um, closing. Uh, of course, there's also uh, um, uh, some, there are questions to understand which were the preferences and which were the preferences connected uh, to uh, the um, kind of stories that were told through the, uh, the visit. Uh, we had a first, first pilot activity with some students from the postgraduate course in museum education, so some way experts in the field and then we had another um, experimentation with uh, the students from the master course in primary school education. So less, uh, um, um, let's say, less expert in, in the field of history and archaeology, uh, but more focused on education. Um, data re are related to all the issues that you can see here, but because I have uh, 
uh, such a short time. I just show you the the um, the graphics, uh, and then uh, we. Uh, I mean, you can have a closer look and maybe ask uh, questions uh, afterwards, uh, writing uh, to me separately. Um, what I can tell you uh, in in the end uh, um, is that. Let's go to the conclusions. Um, that this learning path that was designed combining digital storytelling with reflective questioning, questioning, um, of course, involved uh, actually proved to be effective in the involvement and solicitation of visitors' uh, uh, critical thinking skills. Uh, from the results mm, that, of course, I didn't have the time to 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 describe, but you know uh, we can have a later talk about that. Um, I can tell you that there's a general appreciation for the virtual uh, exhibition, uh, which strongly correlates with the appreciation of the objects' narratives in line with our uh, pedagogical uh, hypothesis. Um, the other point that we can make in the end is this: is that these results are, of course, preliminary, uh, but they provide initial methodological and pedagogical insights regarding the design of virtual reality museum exhibition for educational uh, purposes. And taking into consideration the time we have been living and the fact that we need to develop digital skills together with critical thinking skills in uh, culturally enhanced um, um, environment, um, we think that we need to, to work more and to develop even more uh, these kind of opportunities and researches and of course of, um, technical uh, advancements in the field. So I thank you so much for, for, for um, the chance to be here with you today and I'm here available for any question.